Hey, hello viewers. Thank you for joining me again here on Dog Tag Central. Well, it's that time of the month again, and nope, I ain't talking about your old lady. <laughs> it's a shout out of the month. This one goes to a dude called Parker4401 Gaming, and he's got a really, really informative channel when it comes to Battlefield. Like, he really knows his shit. And uh, he's got a series called Misunderstood Weapons, where he takes, obviously, weapons that are misunderstood and hardly used and takes a relook at them and tries to figure out why people don't like them so much or why they don't use them. And uh, after I saw his video, I started a live stream and had a go with the weapon, and the first kill I got with it was pretty damn epic, I must say. Like in helicopter pilots, yeah, you gotta love when they happen. But anywho, yeah, go check out his channel and show him some love, because he definitely deserves it. He puts a lot of work into his videos. And uh, as always, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Take her easy. Helicopter. Please tell me you saw that, Parker. Please tell me you fucking saw that. <laughs> I try out a new gun and I kill the fucking helicopter pilot. Oh, dick. Hello guys, this is Parker4401 Gaming, and today I am bringing you the first episode of my first ever series on my YouTube channel called Misunderstood Weapons. Basically in this series, I will take a weapon that I feel is misunderstood by the Battlefield community, whether YouTubers don't seem to like it, they seem to hate on it, or I don't see many people using it and most people don't seem to like it, and I will give you reasons why I like it and some good attachments and stuff, and then maybe you'll take a second chance at it, because a lot of these weapons that I think are misunderstood, I actually seem to be very good with. In this first episode, we will be talking about the U100 MK5, also known as the Ultramax 100 Mark V. I honestly think that the Mark V, that's what I refer to it as, so I'm not gonna call it the U100, I call it the Mark V, I honestly think that it is one of the most misunderstood weapons in the game. I don't know what it is about this gun. Uh, I, I ran a pool and not many people liked it. That's something I'm going to do for all episodes. I'll run a pool on this form site for the platoon I'm in. And I'll ask them what they think of it. And then I'll put that in the video. That'll be a little bit later. But, uh, not many of them liked it. In fact, I don't think any of them really liked it. It did get kind of poor ratings, which is really a shame, because this is the LMG that I'm the best with. In fact, it is my fourth best weapon with 852 kills at the time I am recording this commentary on the 14th. One thing that I've noticed in particular uh, through the feedback I've gotten about this gun is that lots of people just ditched it as soon as they got another LMG, which I think is a shame, because I actually think it's very good. Going through the feedback, I'll bring up the pool now. We got six votes. Uh, most people don't use it much, which is another reason why I think it's misunderstood. Uh, that probably doesn't help that not many people use it. Um, one person voted that it's pretty bad, and two people voted that it's okay. So here's a small portion of what the community thinks of the Mark V. Going through the comments, it's pretty obvious that a lot of people just ditched it. Lots of people have said how they'd unlock a new LMG and they just ditch it, or uh, they get a bunch of kills with it and then eventually just give up on it. Uh, some of them talked about getting quite a few kills, but then they pretty much stopped. 
the guy who responded to had the most kills ha had 500, so I guess he would have got the uh, mastery dog tag for it, which is good. Um, so he definitely has some experience, which is good. But still, most people are saying they just kind of eventually ditched it after a little while. Okay, now let's get into the stats of the U100 Mark V. Um, I'm not going to bore you with this too much. Looking at these stats, I think one of the biggest reasons that people just ended up ditching it is its RPM. It only has a 590 RPM, which is pretty bad. Um, I'd easily say that's the biggest reason people gave up on it. Other than that, I don't see why people would give up on it so much. Uh, it has a very fast reload. That's if you're comparing it to other LMGs. Its reload is very fast. And its recoil is definitely easy to manage, I can say that from experience. But really, looking at the stats, I mean, the RPM is pretty bad, to say the least. But other than that, I don't see any other really big reasons why I think that people would just end up ditching it. Okay, now for the part that'll benefit you, if you decide to give this gun another chance. Uh, great attachments to run with this gun. Okay, two attachments that never change for my loadouts that I'd recommend are the optic and the accessory. Now, of course, don't think just because I tell you that this works for me, don't think that it's 100% guaranteed to work for you. It may, it may not, but this is just what I'd recommend trying. Now, as for the optic, I'd easily easily say go with the optic you're best with or the one that works best for you. I went with the one times hollow the entire time and I've grown attached to it. Uh, it's my favorite optic in the entire game. As for accessory, I always went with the laser light combo. Uh, this is probably my most used accessory. I really really like the laser light combo. But you might choose something else. I definitely recommend using the laser sight in case you need to hip fire, since the U100 does not have very good hip fire. So it's a very smart idea to run with one of these. As for barrel and under barrel, I found three different sets that will work very good for you depending on how you're going to use it and how good you are at recoil manning. My favorite one to run is a flash hider for the barrel and a stubby grip for the under barrel. I really like this loadout because the flash hider will one, hide your flash, obviously, and two, it will not affect your recoil or accuracy, so it's very nice to slap that on. And then I like to put the stubby grip on so I can get some better accuracy. The second loadout I like is the heavy barrel and the angled grip. The heavy barrel will add a lot more recoil, but the angled grip should help you compensate that. This is probably my second favorite loadout to run because you get a lot of accuracy and it's not completely uncontrollable. Uh, it might take you some time to get used to, but once you do, you should be able to control it fairly well. And then the angled grip, uh, that's if you are having trouble. Uh, managing the recoil. It's also just nice to have. If you can't handle the recoil, that brings me to my third loadout I'd recommend. Again, the heavy barrel, but then for the under barrel, the stubby grip. If you can manage the recoil with this, which it's starting to get a little high, uh, you will have very, very good accuracy. Definitely worth running. Um, I honestly think you should give it a try if you ever find yourself running the U100 Mark V, if you can control the recoil. Okay, finally, let's get into talking about where the U100 Mark V is good to be used. I find that it is very good at medium and long range. I mean, not like sniping range, you can't snipe with this thing, trust me. But at longer ranges, it is very good, I've found. You can definitely use this thing in close quarters, but I do not recommend it. Uh, most of the times, you'll get chewed up and spit out if you try using this thing in close quarters. However, it is definitely doable if you're a good player. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this series. Do you want more, or do you want me to scrap it here? There's no way you'd want to see this or watch this. 
So let me a comment down below what you think, and I will see you in the next video.